Hello students, myself Manatush De, your English helpline on the go. Today I shall discuss a lesson from Footprints Without Feet, the supplementary reader which is taught in CBS curriculum of Standard 10th. The lesson under discussion today has the same name as the name of the supplementary reader book that is Footprints Without Feet. Dear students, kindly visit my website after signing up with your mail ID and access the detailed contents of all the lessons of your syllabus, including reading, writing, grammar, literature, and CRT solution, spoken English, English for competitive exams, podcasts, and a library full of resources on speaking and listening skills, current affairs, infographics, and so on. Anyway, I'm going to focus on today's lesson, theme of the story, plot development, and finally, I shall recapitulate the whole lesson for you. So, dear students, let's begin. The story has been taken from the novel of H.G. Wells, The Invisible Man. The story suggests how science can be a bad master of human beings, if handled by a wrong person. The lesson is the story of Griffin, a scientist who conducts various experiments to make the human body invisible. In spite of being a brilliant scientist, he is not a low compliant person. He uses his own impulse to execute any kind of work. The story describes his adventures and lawless spree of activities. Dear students, let's see how the plot develops. To begin with, introduction of a brilliant but lawless scientist. The lesson opens with two boys following muddy footprints that seem to form without fit. They are the footprints made by the invisible scientist and he starts roaming the streets of London invisibly to avoid getting caught. The name of the scientist in this lesson is Griffin, who started carrying out a series of experiments to prove that it was possible to make the human body become invisible. Eventually, he swallowed some rare drugs and his body became as transparent as a sheet of glass. In spite of being a brilliant scientist, Griffin was rather a lawless person. His landlady did not like him and tried to drive him out of her house. In revenge, Griffin set fire to the house. In order to escape being caught, he had to take off his clothes. Thus, he became a homeless wanderer without clothes, without money, and quite invisible, until he happened to step in some mud and left footprints as he walked. Now let's move on to the phase when Griffin tries to survive by robbing a store. He escaped easily enough from the boys who followed his footprints in London. It was midwinter, the air was bitterly cold, and, and he could not manage without clothes. Instead of walking about the streets in bitter cold, he decided to slip into a big London store for warmth. He enjoyed the food wine 
and clothes there but he is traced and chased by the store assistants the next day in the end he was able to escape only by quickly taking off his newly found clothes so once more he found himself invisible but naked in the chill january air now let's discuss what happens when griffin arrives in iping iping my dear students is a small village where griffin went to uh, take shelter he stole some cash and items like bandages a false nose a side whisker from a theater supply shop and went to a village called iping in order to avoid crowded london he booked two rooms at the local inn he made it clear to mrs hall the landlady that he wanted himself to be left alone and did not wish to be disturbed at all he explained that his bandaged face was the outcome of an accident that he recently met with and which has left his face disfigured mrs hall excused his strange ways and irritable behavior thinking that he was an eccentric scientist moreover he paid her in advance which pleased her however the arrival of a stranger in winter with such a strange appearance made the village gossip about him now let's move on to the episode in the story when griffin robs clergyman of his money a case of burglary at the clergyman's house further raised suspicion about the stranger coupled with the incidents of some eerie happenings to mrs hall's furniture shortly after his arrival in iping village a curious episode occurred very early in the morning a clergyman and his wife were awakened by noises in the study creeping downstairs they heard the chink of money being taken from the clergyman's desk the clergyman and his wife looked under the desk and behind the curtains and even up the chimney there wasn't a sign of anybody yet the desk had been opened and the housekeeping money was missing now let me brief you about what happens when a mysterious incident took place at mrs hall's residence on finding the scientist's door wide open one morning mr and mrs hall entered the room to investigate griffin was nowhere around and his clothes and bandages were lying about the room all on a sudden mrs hall heard a sniff close to her ear a moment later the hat on the bed post leapt up and dashed itself into the into her face then the bedroom chair became alive springing into the air it charged straight at her legs foremost as she and her husband turned away in terror the extraordinary chair pushed them both out of the room and then appeared to slam and lock the door after them mrs hall almost fell down the stairs in hysterics she was convinced that the room was haunted by spirits and that the stranger had somehow caused these to enter into her furniture the successive incidents in the neighborhood confirmed suspicion of the villagers 
on griffin suspicion grew even stronger when he suddenly produced some ready cash though he had admitted not long before that he had no money now let me tell you how griffin reacts when mrs hall inquires from griffin about the reason for the latest incidents in the house on being asked by mrs hall as to what griffin had been doing to her chairs upstairs and how griffin came out of an empty room and how he entered a locked room, Griffin lost his temper and he threw off bandages, whiskers, spectacles and even nose. It took him only a minute to do this. The horrified people in the bar found themselves staring at a headless man. Uh, now, next we come to the phase in the story uh, when uh, Jaffers uh, wants to catch Griffin. Mr. Jaffers, the constable of the village, now arrived and was quite surprised to find that he had to arrest a man without a hat. There followed a remarkable scene as the policeman tried to get hold of a man who was becoming more and more invisible as he threw off one garment after another. Finally, a shot flew into the air and the constable found himself struggling with someone he could not see at all. Now, dear students, let's discuss whether Jeffers was successful in catching Griffin. In the end, Jeffers was knocked unconscious as he made a last attempt to hold on to the unseen scientist. Griffin had shaken himself free and no one knew where to lay hands on him. Some people tried to help him but found themselves hit by blows that seemed to come from nowhere. Griffin had the last laugh. Dear students, now let me recapitulate the whole story briefly for you. The story is about an eccentric scientist called Griffin. He was a brilliant scientist but was lawless. He set fire to the house of his landlady and ran away after becoming invisible. To protect himself from cold of London, he slipped into a store and enjoyed food and clothing there. Next morning, he escaped by taking off his clothes from the grip of the people in the store. He entered a theatrical house where he changed himself with artificial costumes, nose, whiskers and bandage. He robbed the shopkeeper hit him and took a train to the village Iping. In Iping village, he rented a room owned by Mr. and Mrs. Hall. His strange look and activities invited people's curiosity and attention. He stole money from the house of a clergyman. One day, Mrs. and Mr. Hall found his room open and on entering the room, they were hit and chased by a chair. They became scared and ran out of the room. Village constable Jeffers was called to catch Griffin. In the process, Jeffers was knocked unconscious by Griffin who ran away subsequently. Now let's discuss the critical question that might arise in your mind after watching this video. Griffin was a brilliant scientist, of course, but he was also a lawless person. He struggled hard he struggled hard to become a scientist and went on to 
experiment till he found the way to become invisible. He was so passionate about his invention that he even experimented on himself by swallowing certain rare drugs. But on the flip side, he lacked the professional ethics and values that every scientist must have because he misused his power to gain advantage at things such as clothes, food and money. Towards the end, he even escaped the law because he had become invisible. Thus, from this story, we can learn that science is both a blessing as well as a curse. It is up to us to decide which way we shall use it. Dear students, that's all about the discussion on the lesson Footprints Without Fit. For NCT solution of this lesson and extra questions including HOTS questions and answers, visit English with a difference.com. Till I come up with another video from your syllabus, kindly keep watching my channel and of course share my video. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, kindly subscribe it now and click the bell icon for notification of every new video that I upload for you. Thanks for watching.